What's going on guys, Ricky Arnold here, and in today's video we're going to go ahead and cover something that I have not covered on the channel before, and that is a wireless gaming pad, and that is from a company called Easy SMX. I've covered a couple of their products on the channel before, and they're nice enough to send me over this wireless gaming pad of theirs that they came out with uh, to try out for you guys and let you guys know my thoughts on it. Um, and I think you guys can be pretty pretty surprised with uh, how awesome this thing performs and how well it does right out of the box So let's go ahead and get to an unboxing Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get right into this uh, gaming controller from easy SMX and Get it unboxed real quick and take a look at what you actually get in the box. So I already pre-cut this, so I didn't have to do this on camera. So let's go ahead and open this part here. Let's see what actually comes with it. So packaging is pretty good, just normally what you would expect. Actually kind of kind of looks really cool on the outsides and they're normal stuff as you've seen in my other videos. I'll toss that and get that out of the way. Okay, and like I was saying, uh, it's a little bit uh, a little bit smaller than I actually thought it would be, but get this thing out of the box here. Sorry, I hit the camera right there, but there it is right there. And actually in the hands, actually kind of feels almost the perfect size now that I think about it. So it kind of just looks like a, uh, a regular uh, an Xbox controller, um, but it's got a little bit uh, more styling, got some rubber on the sides here, and it's got this cool like pattern, uh, Sorry, this little like tiger stripe pattern on the on the actual controller itself. So that's pretty cool looking. Let's go ahead and see what it actually comes with real quick. Uh, you get your uh, your literature right there from Easy SMX. Uh, your actual game controller literature right there, probably just to tell you in every different language how to use it. Yep. And then of course your 2.4. Uh, gigahertz wireless receiver right there that's going to go ahead and go into your computer and uh, give you that wireless connection to the actual controller itself so we'll take this put that in our computer here in a second and uh, we will get going on some wireless gaming here so uh, this guy right here let's get this thing out of the packaging actually let's go ahead and get all this out of the way real quick there it is okay so there's the actual controller right there so it does actually, it does feel like normal size. I thought it was gonna be a little bit smaller than I normally was used to, but uh, it looks and feels a lot like an Xbox controller. Um, and it's got the same buttons as an Xbox controller as well. It's got your middle button right there with the Easy SMX logo on it. It looks like we have a back button, a start button, and then you have this turbo button, which uh, I'll have to explain later what that actually is because I have no idea what that actually does. Um, so as far as battery life, it looks like we have a, just a regular battery pack right here, uh, that needs two AA batteries and doesn't look like they are actually included. So nope, no batteries included with it. Um, just like your, your kids toys back in the day on the commercials, no batteries included. Um, so you're going to have to get two AA batteries or just get a rechargeable battery pack, uh, rechargeable batteries to put in this guy. Um, so I'll have to go find some of those here in a second so we can test this thing out, but Usual stuff, usual buttons, uh, top triggers, bottom triggers for shooting. Um, and I actually think it looks really cool. I like the, the color scheme they sent me. This is like the, one of their new models and then they told me that it actually has this cool pattern on it. Um, and this rubber on the sides here actually feels really good in your hands. Um, and me, I have, I have bigger hands. I don't have an ex exactly small hand. Uh, so this does feel pretty good in my hand. Um, the buttons feel pretty crisp. Um, yeah, they feel nice. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much is that's it for the unboxing. Not too much stuff in there. Uh, let's go ahead and get some batteries put in this thing, get the wireless thing hooked up to my computer, and we will start gaming with it, and I will tell you how the experience is. All right, guys, so I found some batteries. So let's go ahead and just throw them in here. It actually shows you right on there. Get the focus, I don't know if you can even see that or not. Shows you right on the battery thing, which way to put them in. So I already have them pre-installed so I don't mess it up on camera. <laughs> So then, uh, just like a regular Xbox 360 controller, uh, you just basically slot this back into the back part right here. And as soon as you do that, you can press this middle button here, and you can see that the batteries are working, and uh, it's already looking for the uh, receiver. 
And after just taking a quick look at the manual here, uh, just to make sure I didn't mess anything up, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just install this uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless receiver into a free USB port on my computer and uh, see if it makes the connection. It looks like all you gotta do is make sure that these lights stay solid and uh, the connection is successful. So let's go ahead and install this in my USB port here. And again, haven't done this yet. I'm literally doing this for the first time on camera just to make sure this thing works. So it looks like it has a little red light on top that is blinking right now and something did pop up on my computer real quick. So let's go ahead and press this. And it looks like, yep, it looks like the connection was successful because these two lights on the front right here are now solid. i do its thing. Yeah. I turned the computer, uh, the monitor speakers on. That way you guys can at least hear what the heck I'm doing. Oh, and look at that. It automatically detected it. No, no problems at all. So there's a win for the controller already. Good job, ECSMX. That's really cool. Didn't have to do anything. I literally plugged the thing into my computer like you guys saw, went into Steam Big Picture, and it already works just like a console does. This is actually kind of cool, guys. I actually never played, uh, I haven't played a console in like, gosh, it's been like five years or something like that since I've had a console, because uh, I've only been doing um, uh, PC gaming, so this is kind of cool to have a controller in my hands again. And remember how I said in the beginning of the video how it seemed like it was too small or whatever? It's probably just because I haven't had a, an actual like gaming controller like this in my hand in a long time. I've been using keyboard and mouse for so long. It actually fits in my hands, which I said are not small. It actually fits very well, and this rubber coating on here actually feels really good. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into some games here. What I'm going to start with, I think, is Grand Theft Auto, because this is the, the game that I mainly wanted to play with a controller. And then we'll, we'll do Resident Evil as well, because that I would like to play. But, yep, as you can see, if you can see the bottom of the thing right there, I know it's not in focus, so I'm sorry. But, yep, as I'm moving, everything is detected automatically. That is really cool. All right, guys, here we are in Grand Theft Auto 5, and everything seems to be working just perfectly detected all the buttons I'm actually still trying to figure out the buttons in this game again but uh, I just had to mess with it and turn the radio off just so YouTube doesn't flag me and uh, give me a copyright strike but uh, yeah I'm trying to figure out what the buttons are in this game again but my lord this is the way to game you guys if you want to play a game like this with a gamepad uh, like a console type game do it on a PC get yourself a gamepad and play it on a 4K screen like this. If you're gonna play a game, it's not like a high refresh rate type game, like uh, like CS:GO. Funny enough that I was talking about that one earlier. Uh, if you don't need something like 144 frames a second or 240 frames a second to do some high twitch, like fast paced stuff, if you're playing a cinematic game like this where 60 hertz is good enough for you, get yourself a 4K panel like this that is really really nice and uh, and game on this, man. The fidelity and the graphics of this just looks so awesome. And uh, for a game like this where you're driving around cars, you know, these big cities and lights and stuff going on, it is just so amazing. Um, and, uh, and back to the controller, uh, everything just feels awesome with this thing. Uh, it feels great in my hand, like I said. All the buttons seem to be reacting just fine. And uh, I, honestly, I could probably sit here and play this game for hours. I'm going to end up making this review take a lot longer because I just want to play this game for a long time. Okay guys and gals, so here we are in the Resident Evil 2 remake, and uh, super smooth play, gameplay, looking good, uh, and playing with a game controller, which is super awesome. Uh, this is much better than I'm sure you'd get on a console, to be honest. Uh, and one thing I wanted to point out about this thing as well that I did not uh, point out already, is it does rumble. Uh, so there was a cinematic that played, I didn't want to spoil the game for you guys, but uh, something got hit by a car, and this thing actually does rumble. So it has a full, every every effect like an Xbox controller or something like that would have, this has it as well. Um, and as far as battery life, because of that rumble feature, uh, it'll get 20 hours apparently if you use the vibration, and then if you do not use the vibration at all, apparently the two AA's will actually get it 90 hours of gameplay. So just keep that in mind. Oh, he got me. Is that supposed to happen? I don't know. Oh, draw, draw with this trigger. Yeah, there you go. Got him. So I'm very happy to say, guys, this is a pretty awesome experience. Uh, you got yourselves a nice screen to play on, uh, and you got this controller right here. You guys are gonna have a really awesome time. Really, 
took no effort on my part but to plug the thing in and it worked right out of the box so that's really really awesome to see all right so the verdict out on this thing is this is a actually really really capable gaming pad um really awesome works right out of the box like i said if you have a ps3 you have a pc or you have some kind of android device this thing will work with all of them uh, other types of devices like that, you might have to get a different gaming pad that works with that, but EasySMX might actually carry that one too. So go ahead and check their website or check on Amazon. They may have something for you. But for those three things, you're covered with this game pad right here. It's basically just plug and play. Uh, it has a couple of different types of actual modes that you can set this thing to. I have no idea what they do, but they are in the manual. So if you know what those are and uh, you need a different mode depending on what device you're using, I'm sure that it's covered inside that manual for you. So like I said, uh, only thing I would really suggest getting with this game pad is just some rechargeable batteries. Uh, so you can have a rechargeable game pack just like your uh, Xbox or something like that. Uh, or you're just going to be buying a bunch of uh, AA batteries every once in a while when this thing goes dead. But as far as a gameplay experience, I was actually really stoked. I've been sitting here playing Resident Evil now for like an hour because uh, I was actually just so enthralled with playing with like a controller and like a console experience again. Um, but I'm, I'm getting the PC experience with a console controller. So really awesome visuals, console controller. Put those two together, awesome gaming experience. So. Check out Easy SMX on the web. Go ahead and get this product if it uh, fits your needs. And uh, make sure you guys go ahead and leave the video a like if I did uh, help you choose something that you guys are looking for. Uh, make sure you guys leave me comments down below if you have any questions about this uh, particular product or anything else that I covered. And then uh, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel uh, just to stay updated on what I'm going to put out next because a lot more stuff is coming. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.